we're going to try and speed up reduction by making it variadic. First, we're going to consider a roofline analysis. What this is, is a plot of the flops of a function on the y-axis versus the arithmetic intensity, that's the flops per byte on the x-axis. The blue lines that you can see going up diagonally, this is where the bandwidth is limited and it's memory bound. And the orange line at the top is where it's processor limited. We're simply not getting any more gigaflops out of it because it's limited. So how can we make something go faster? Well, we're going to try and increase the arithmetic intensity, doing more useful work when we memory bound. So that's moving to the right. By moving to the right and being memory bound, we're trying to get more flops per, more flops per byte, and that's going to make us get more flops. So how are we going to do this with reduction? If viable, we're going to try and use more landers in the reduction. We're going to need to do more useful work. This way we can pass through the data set only once. And for an example, we're going to use the uh, computing multiple statistics from a data set. We're going to pass through the data only once rather than calling reduce multiple times. So we're going to go from code that looks like this, sum, sum squared, sum cubed, sum quartic, and calling reduce four times to four landers calling reduce over a vector with the four landers passed in. The result is a tuple. This is a kind of loop fusion where we get the loop cost amortized over multiple landers, multiple reductions, and we can share intermediate results. The opposite is loop fission where we've done it too much. We're going to look at going over non-contiguous data. A bad boy is a map from being badly laid out in memory and look at the performance. But first, we're going to have some variadic template magic. Uh, don't look at this too much. It basically just dispatches the lambda and the state um, to the data that's being iterated over. Beyond the thing. Here are our, our lambdas that we're going to apply, uh, going up to fifth order. And this is our base case. We're going to call reduce five times on the test map using these different lambdas, stood reduce. And our candidate performance improvement is going to call reduce m. We're going to uh, build a tuple of lambdas that we're going to pass in, and a tuple of uh, initial values, which are going to be set to nil. And obviously, the result's going to come back as a tuple, and we're going to call get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. When we run it, well, the good thing is that they give the same answer. Um, <laughs> um, the standard reduce when it goes comes back in about 22 seconds on this run, and the variadic comes back in about four and a half seconds. It's about 4.98 times faster. If we look at um, performance characterization of this using retune, it's 80% memory bound in the stood reduce version. Uh, and when we do the multi reduce, it's also 80%. So if you only go through data once rather than five times when you're memory bound, you go five times faster. But you know it's not, a, not particularly clever, but it is clever. You go five times faster. Does this work with vectors? Well, we're going to try stood reduce, my own dr cubed version of reduce using SIMD, and a variadic version of, of SIMD uh, reduce. Um, so stood reduce, four lambdas, four calls. We're not getting any loop fusion by the compiler, unfortunately. And here we get 1.6 gigaflops and 0.27 flops per byte. It's not even a DRAM limited. So we up, up the ante. Uh, we're going to go to the vectorized version using DR cubed and AVX512. Well, this goes a lot faster. It's nearing the top, the DP add peak, uh, and it's doing 0.37 flops per byte. So it's improved very slightly, but doing 10.4 uh, gigaflops. Now we try reduce M using our variadic uh, multi-reduce <laughs> um, and see what we get with this. It wasn't favorable, but we're getting 8.3 flops per byte. So we're really hammering it and we're getting 10.9 gigaflops. This one completes in six seconds. The SIMD finished in nine seconds and the stood reduce finished in uh, 60 seconds. So we've still got a 50% performance improvement. Resources are here at this repo.